Okay, so here we go. I'm just showing what I've done so far, which is not a lot because I haven't been trying to rush it. I'm, I'm gonna, my, I have many New Year's resolutions. I decided to do a bunch of them because that way, if <laughs> like if I fail at some, I won't feel so bad because I will have done so many. <laughs> Be like that doesn't count. Uh, just to start it off, um, I like having my windows open. Um, I like to have it well ventilated when I'm using um, E6000. So I know for some people it becomes distracting hearing the sounds of outside but that's I I love having my windows open because I I don't like being in a closed in space or even just having one window open using this stuff because I still smell it after like hours after you can still smell it and it because it lingers we after using it for a certain amount of time we get used used to the smell so we don't notice it it's like the nail shop like the people inside it when they first walk in they're like whoo that's a strong smell but after a while they don't smell it but as soon as you open that door and somebody walking past it's like hit them in the face they're like whoo you get where i'm going with this so i want to just start it off by just communicating them i don't know and um i don't know i'm so used to the mute button because like i said i'll have the windows open cars are going by my dog um well, one dog likes to bark a lot. My older dog, he never, but he has never barked. She just, she barks at anything. And she see a leaf blowing in the wind. She's like, oh no, what's that? Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> but I, was, I don't know. I have a daughter. I have a grown daughter now. But any parent know what I'm talking about. We learn this superpower of zoning them out. Do not get me wrong. We never ignored our children, but we used to know the sounds. We know when it was time to go check on them and when it was just regular sounds and we was able to tune out the things that wasn't, you know, something we needed to pay attention to. But to get on that, just to explain more about myself. I love customizing. And like I said, this actually started out as a hobby for me to relax me from being stressed out from computer repair. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But, but if you think about it, um, I'm also a gamer and so that's another form of relaxation so it wasn't really a disappointment for this to no longer just be my little you know relaxation crafty thingy but I I still find times when I can do it and I'm, I'm like solely doing it just to relax and unwind and so like I said I love how this hat is ongoing and I don't know this is like the first of course not a fun Oh my god, okay, so I gotta pause this so I gotta ask the phone, dang it. Okay, I'm back, sorry. <laughs> and my dog is growling, so that'll be something. But like I said, I'm trying, I'm gonna start getting the hang of this talking and customizing, but it's gonna be a minute on that, because it's gotta be something I gotta get used to, because like I said, man, the mute button have been friends. Okay, so when i'm doing this i my my own personal preference is i like to do the detailing first i mean see the little insides i know i started over here but i usually fill in my middles and then i just do that how you say i do the inside before i do the outside let me get her I don't want to be mad at her, but she's so cute. Say hi. She's not going to say hi. <laughs> so, now she's on my lap. Why? Because she's afraid to jump down. <laughs> she's still going to bark. Come on. Stop with the dog in the park. Okay. Now, I got this little thing from Dollar Tree. I usually used to use a toothpick because, like I said, instead of getting glue all over the stones i literally would like place them right here which is what i'm about to do them. look get the stones themselves and then i would just literally scoop some twirl and then in those little crevices where i just don't want too much glue that's when I would add 
my little small amount and I also like using I usually have all the sizes of the stones meaning I would have this the size that I'm going to be using and then I would actually have the what I would call the smaller ones as the fillers so say I was using SS16s then my filler sizes I would have from SS10s on down I know I skipped over SS12s but like I used to be getting my SS12 like crazy but if y'all have seen how much that price then jumped up on SS12s you might look just just get you some SS10s and just don't say nothing and yes SS12s used to be cheaper than SS10s but now it's like man these people are not playing but like I said I usually go on down for me it's good to have the size I mean the color that I'm using it's good to have that size and all the um, smallers I never go higher I used to actually only use the, the lowest size I actually used to go down to was SS12 so my comfort zone actually would used to be SS16 and I used to use SS12 as fillers and I used to use SS20s all the time but I stopped because it would make the projects and the work so much heavier and I just no oh, and my friend Joe <laughs> finally had me go over to the small dark side I call it the small dark side because she that's all she uses is small stones and when I first um, got to know her I was just like girl I can't even <laughs> I wouldn't even consider it it was just like no and as this area opens up wider I'm able to you know apply it even if I used my other um, tips and my other bottles I still I like using this because like I said sometimes even when you don't think it's too much adhesive you notice how when you apply your stones it'll like they'll just like go sinking in there I'm like mm -mm, too much adhesive so I still like having something else besides that to control it so that I don't want my stones to sink all the way down in it I just want them to like get a nice snug fit in there where I know they're not going to do that movie, movie movie groovy movie how about that <laughs> so yeah um like i said right now i'm using a combination of ss10 um ss16s ss10s and then it's dropping all the way down these have got to be like like what ss3s mm -hmm. and yes y'all oh no that's too big i'm gonna put you over there i'm gonna use you some other time so i'm gonna use another ss10 i can do one more And then I go with the little, the smaller ones. Because I love when you do this. And like I said, I use a color, these two colors. And I know um, I could have used my darker stones to make the white pop out more. But I just honestly just wanted this collabo like this. Almost as if the orange are actually clear stones. Even though we all know that they are not. And I just wanted that effect. So it's all about what you want from it. And this is what I just filled in. Just so you can see. Like I said, it's you figure out what your preference is and then you go with it. Like someone who does things another way. Get what I'm saying? They'll see your work and then they'll go, you know what you should have done. Now, there's nothing wrong with I always say there's going to always be constructive criticism out there. But understand it. If the way it came out is exactly how you wanted it and the way you placed it and the way you did it is exactly how you wanted it done. You don't, you know, you don't have to just, you know, how do, how do you say clap back or whatever. You could just, well, for me, I'm just like, well, thank you. But this is, you know, this is actually how I wanted it to go. I noticed that over time. I'm not even going to lie. It's like a. The biggest shocker for me learning to customize was learning about the constructive criticism because understand even if you go I didn't want any it's given to you you get what I'm saying as soon as you upload it it's like a panel of judges <laughs> and they all get to tell you if they like it or not or what you should have changed or how you could have made it better whether or not you wanted that and it's all about how you take that in just like I never want people to feel discouraged 
like say you did something and you did a darn good job, right? And you post it in a group and they have thousands of people in these groups. You might not even get a like. You might only get two thumbs up. Don't ever let that discourage you. And I'm telling you this from someone, me, who did. I used to think, maybe, I used to have second thoughts about my own work. I used to go back and say, maybe my work is not good. Maybe let that puppy be in the park. Do you hear me? Stop it. But I would, you know, I would second guess myself and I would, I would actually, I would get depressed because I would think that likes mean that you know that's that's your knowing you did a good job no you believe in you did a good job that that's how you know you did one you get what i'm saying and uh just like when i post my um my stuff in a group i i, I click the care button and i know that kind of is weird for people but the reason why i always do that is because my opinion is this even if the only thing that comes from it is meaning no matter what group I post it in, if nobody comments on it, if nobody likes it, and the only thing that shows is my, my, my reaction to it, then to me, that's all that counts. Because in the end, that's all that matters. Because as long as I like it, that's, that's what's important. Do you get where I'm going with this? Don't let where you know groups and reactions and the activity in groups deter you from doing what you are comfortable and what you feel joy if you finish your work and you look at it and you're smiling and you're happy you keep that you keep that don't don't let that deter you and then you go in there and then you know that starts your sadness start growing when you go well nobody liked it nobody commented on that's okay and I know that sounds crazy, but I'm being dead on because there's a whole nother side. I have been um, admins of groups, so I've been on both sides of it. You understand? I have been, you know, criticized and I've been, you know, been able to, I've never said anything negative to anybody, but I've seen how it is in groups. Sometimes it's about that. It's a, it's more about, well, high school, remember high school? Yeah, yeah. Some people look back on high school and they have awesome memories. Ah, oh, good times. I hated high school. I hated all school because I just, I never, I never, I, I'm sorry. I wasn't one of those people. It's just, you know, school wasn't fun for me. It wasn't, I had uh, some awesome teachers that I still remember that were really, but the kids, which um, I'm just saying, savage. You get where I'm going with this? Savage. And if that's like the, beginning of life to let you know how life is going to be there you go no matter how old you are there's going to be cliques of people that are you know all friends and are all like each other's stuff and and they'll have the people that don't just because just because of you if they feel like your work looks better than their friends work or whatever they're not going to like it and it's weird, and then they have those clicks where it's no reaction, meaning they don't, they just go through life, don't even, like, they have no comment, they're like, it's whatever. And you're like, why are they all in the groups? Because that, it, same thing, why are they always at your school? Because that's just how it is. So, like I said, just don't, don't let it affect you like it affected me. Like, it took some great friends to finally get me to stop thinking that this, this mattered because if you are like I said you are creating things beautiful things you're taking that time to do that and you are loving what you do and your friends and your family are supporting you telling you how awesome it is so for you to brush off all that and actually care about a stranger not doing a thumbs up or saying awesome great. no mm -mm. no this that no and that's what I had to, that, look, if I'm telling you, that's what I had to find and tell myself. And so that's what I'm telling y'all. I wish there were more groups that were supportive where it was just like, you know, like even the admins, like a lot of times in groups, and don't get me wrong, it's not necessity, you know, it's not a necessity. I'm not saying that, but I wish more admins would show appreciation to members post and not just certain people's posts like 
in groups. You get what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I get that people will go well, with the larger groups. It might be a little bit harder. And I don't get me wrong. I get that. I'm an admin of a group. And I am active in my group. And I'm active in other group, people's groups. And that means all I'm And yes, I still function and have a job. And I still do things. But I also show appreciation because I know, I know how it feels to not. So, like I said, I just wish more admins, moderators would show appreciation to everybody who does post in their groups and not just certain people. And like I said, this is no shade. And please know, I live a stress-free life. I'm not even, you know how some people say that and they live a stressful life? I can promise you, I'm that one that, no, there's no stress. There's no drama. There's no mess. There's nothing like that in my life because I just know you you have experiences that happen in life all through your life you learn from them or you continuously make the same mistakes i have learned so much do you know what i'm saying bad and good because i always say every lesson is not that happy after school special where everyone's singing and you know it's all resolved at the end of, before the show ends i've had to learn some very difficult and hard lessons but i did learn them you know so it's really that I treat people like I want to be treated. Even when people are nasty with me, I don't react. Because you got to, you know, understand is we like to tend to believe that people, all people must be like us inside. Meaning we'll go, that's something I would never do. Or if I did that, I would feel so bad about it. But everybody's oh. not you, you know what I'm saying? And everybody's not going to oh. feel bad. Some people feel good people some people actually enjoy you know um, insulting you um making you feel bad about your work and stuff like that and some people just like to wipe the smile off your face if i'm being honest with you and so you know i i surround myself with positive people you understand that that means people that's just straight negative have negative things to say all the time about anything the job life the world i don't mm -mm. I don't stay around it because it's even if it's not about you, it'll start affecting you because it, it start bringing. It's just like me. Say you was having an awesome day and then I start saying, you know, terrible things. Nothing concerning you, but just about life and everything. It's, it'll take you down, take your smile off your face. Why you allowed it? Exactly, I don't. So I I keep myself in a positive zone and I just mm -mm. I, instead of having you know. <laughs> surrounding myself with a few negative people and some positive people no i just chose to be selfish and i chose to only be around positive people and people that wants to be want to be uplifted and people that want to accomplish things and move forward and be better people and care you understand and that's that's what i choose to do now, this girl is having her a few they were just wonder oh yeah Oh Lord, yeah, that's two dogs in the park, and she was just like, girl, heck no, two people in my park? That's my boy, though. He's even barking. So, well, so I guess I'll end this live now, because they're about to get the party started, right? Get your mommy, girl. Hey, space. Okay, yeah, bye, y'all. <laughs> Have a great day.